don't always see the night. They say they want a real one. They say they want a real one to make them feel yo. Hey yo, what's good family? Welcome back to Astro Nori for another video. Today is the day, people. The day we've been waiting for. Supreme Fall Winter 19 lookbook is coming out today. It already came out, but we are gonna be going ahead and reacting to it. I'ma let y'all know what some of my favorite pieces are. Typically, I do a video where I just put the pictures up here of the items that I'm talking about, but honestly, that shit takes mad long to edit. So today, I'm gonna do a live cop style video where I basically sit on my laptop and I'm over here in the little corner and y'all basically gonna see what I like most. I'm not gonna go through every single piece because some of the shits are completely ass. I'll probably just make a video roasting the ugliest pieces, but honestly, man, if y'all do end up enjoying this video and would like to watch more Supreme content throughout the season, go ahead and spam this with a like, man. It definitely means a lot. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and would enjoy more of this type of content. Also, click the post notification bells if you wanna be notified each and every time I post a new video. Plus, you might go ahead and be shouted out right here. Shout out to y'all for always showing love to the channel it definitely does mean a lot like i said before but without any further ado man let's go ahead and get straight into this video all right y'all so we back and we about to get straight into this lookbook i'm not even gonna lie to y'all bro i recorded this shit before and the shit was like a 30 minute video i'm not trying to do that this season i'm gonna go ahead and go through my favorite pieces and then we're gonna get straight about the building because honestly bro i'm not trying to edit this shit until tomorrow because it would be pointless to post this shit tomorrow so we about to talk about some of my favorites some of the shits that i hate and we're gonna get straight about the building so first thing that stood out to me this season from the jump was this varsity jacket right here this shit is crazy bruh this gives me v loan vibes if i'm being honest this black with the orange is honestly super sexy and if I could get my hands on this right here, it's definitely a must for this season. I do feel like retail on this is gonna be like 368, something like that. Nothing too bad, honestly, when it comes to the quality of this piece. I do like that on the back, it does have the Supreme team. There's just a whole lot of patches, a whole lot of shit going on. I love that piece right there. I did see this eight ball jacket, but I do like another piece with the eight ball design way better. So I'm gonna cover that afterwards. There's just a bunch of shit, bro. We got this Gore-Tex camo leopard print vibe right there whole lot of shit going on we got a lot of overcoats this leather camo jacket mm, this shit gonna be like a thousand dollars if i'm being honest leave that shit right there for y'all we got a bunch more gore-tex shit there's this downfield parka which isn't too bad i would honestly get this as an everyday coat much like a north face coat but honestly i don't know if it's worth it i'm gonna just wait for tnf we got this little anorak right here which is not bad once again i do like the tan colorway and the black one i like the contrast stitch on it it gives it a little bit of a pop then we got this this wool Harrington, which we saw leak on Hypebeast, I believe. This checker puffy right here is kind of throwing me off with the checkerboard. It doesn't look too bad, but it's just, I don't think it's something that I would wear frequently because the, the checkerboard is just too much. I'm going to leave this shit right here. You feel me? It's not for me. The navy with the green is probably the best colorway out of these jackets, though. This cotton field jacket, bro, specifically in this camo colorway is sexy. I love the colorway on it. It's like a camel, but it's like a tonal type camo and it kind of gets hidden in the mist i really hope that this is one of those sleeper pieces that i could just go ahead and scoop because i would love to go ahead and get this item i also do like the fact that it does have the classic logo we don't see too many pieces that carry that logo anymore so that's a fire ass piece in my opinion another piece that at first threw me off but it kind of grew on me was this logo track jacket right here that got the shoulder logo on the top this one's actually pretty clean if i'm being honest the black and gray colorway is definitely my favorite when it comes to this piece right here i do like like it because you could wear it with a whole bunch of shit and it does have that sup right there the supreme you feel me they're branding but it's nothing over the top literally it is over the top but it's fire you feel me this colorway right here only though the other colorways are kind of throwing me off like this gucci colorway is dookie bro like the dookie green is on it i personally don't like it but it doesn't look too bad you feel me like if you like those two colors mixed together that's probably for you we got this macaw zip up this shit is duke loop bro like i don't know what's going on with this one right here this is not for me i feel like this would look better on a pair of pants if i'm being honest but on this jacket right here could definitely take a seat let's go ahead and scroll that might be on my dookie of the month but this shit right here the iridescent puffy coat 
this shit is fire bro this is one of the pieces that definitely stood out to me and this is one of the pieces that i feel like palace would destroy like this is one of those banger ass pieces that honestly i would go ahead and go for if it doesn't cost an arm and a leg like if this is anywhere under or around that 300 price point this might be for me the green colorway is super clean and then that gray color is definitely the one that i like the most banger jacket right there i love that jacket a whole lot we got a whole bunch of other shit right here that i honestly don't care about like the one that was on the teaser that shit is duke loop we got this denim jacket that shit is ass i'm gonna show y'all just so y'all can see it this shit is cheeks like straight bubblegum cheeks this jacket right here the reversible puffy work coat this shit is fire i like the camo i guess i guess it's camo i don't know but this one is actually reversible which is another fire touch because it makes you feel like you got two jackets in one jacket you feel me this is fire i like the tan colorway and i do like the black one way more honestly i feel like the black jacket i would wear a whole lot this one is actually a piece that i'm gonna go ahead and try and buy i hope this is a sleeper item and i hope that it's not 300 dollars bro like this is just a jacket i really hope they're not over the top with it because this season i'm actually trying to cop a couple jackets if i'm being honest we got this mugshot crew jacket which is definitely not my style right here shit is too bloody for me it kind of is kind of dookie we got the ganesh fox fur kind of ass we got this puffy we got some puffies i'm gonna try and go ahead and start skedaddling to another part of this video because i'm not trying to stay on jackets the whole time but this reversible bandana fleece is one that i definitely feel like is gonna have high resell simply because it is reversible and it is bandana people love bandana prints when it comes to supreme and this right here is another one of those bangers bro this is a wind stopper jacket i believe that is gore-tex i may be wrong but i believe that is gore-tex and it's reversible i feel like this baby blue colorway is the one that people are gonna go after simply because i don't know you feel me i like the cream color i like the baby blue color but now we about to go ahead and get the fuck up out of here let's go ahead and talk about something else actually the cop car jacket i didn't even see that last time that shit is kind of fire the cop car jacket is a vibe it looks like some vintage shit coming from them but let's go ahead and hop into shirts i typically don't even like shirts so i don't even know why i'm showing y'all this but let's just show y'all a couple pieces from here like the eight ball shirt this shit is fire bro i don't know about y'all but i actually am feeling this eureka shirt right here this shit is clean in my opinion i do like the fact that it does have what the fuck never mind wait what is this I don't know, but the eight ball shirt is fire. We do got a couple other shirts right here. I typically don't even go for these shits, so I'm gonna go ahead and get the fuck up out of here. Let's go to tops. This is another part where I'm not really too well versed. I do like this striped mohair top right here though. This is actually pretty clean. It looks like a simple striped shirt with the English logo right here. I kind of do like it if I'm being completely honest with you guys. Definitely in the black colorway. That other one could take a seat. This Supreme is love sweater is just like the jacket that we covered earlier. We got a whole bunch of shit that I don't like. The little tribal camo piece is not that bad as far as the jacket goes but when it comes to this sweater right here it's just not my style i typically don't wear crew necks too much so that's why i'm not too fond of these pieces a whole bunch of shit that's honestly not the best if i'm being completely frankly 100 percent with you guys this flame short sleeve top isn't too bad it's just nothing over the top and i feel like the price for these shits is going to deter me from buying it the whole season it has to be some exquisite ass shit for me to pay 110 dollars for a shirt so i'm gonna go ahead and get up out of here let's go into the sweatshirts real quick this one is probably my favorite sweater or one of my favorite sweaters this eight ball hoodie right here is insane in my opinion i like the fact that it got the subtle english branding right here then with the big ass eight ball this kind of throws me back to like the 2000s when they used to do these big ass prints the all over prints i do like them but sometimes they do go over the top this more so feels like a galaxy type inspired eight ball print so it kind of does fall right in my lane i do like it a whole lot but this delta logo right here could take a seat for sure this box logo is fucking crazy bro the paisley on this shit threw me left that shit threw me all the way to the left i actually do like this shit a whole lot if i'm being honest bro the colors that they chose come on that baby blue is a fucking banger i love that baby blue but i do got the icy one so i probably would not go for that one that baby pink color come on come on i don't want to seem like too big of a hype beast but if i'm being completely honest with y'all i feel like they did it with these like the colors that they went with are perfect you got the ketchup and mustard the scooby-doo the gray with the 
blue box you got the baby blue and baby pink they chose some fire ass colors and then they put the paisley inside the box it's not just a regular box we do got the gray one which isn't tonal then the rest of them are tonal this shit is fire bro i don't know which one i'm gonna go for but i'd be happy with either one of these like i'm good with either one i feel like for this shit i'm gonna definitely have to go in the store because i'm not trying to chance it bro like at all i'm gonna register for in store and try online bro i'm gonna try to get my moms to try like everybody gonna try bro everybody gonna try to get this shit because this shit is hard as fuck i'm not even gonna lie but we do got a bunch of shit like this rhinestone sweater shit could take a seat we got this breed crew neck which should get the fuck up that way let's go ahead and talk about some shit that i actually think is okay like this stop crying hoodie right here this is the hoodie that i spoke about in yesterday or two days ago's video this shit is fire i do like the fact that it does have the supreme right here then you got hella shit on the back i love pieces like that because it has a story to tell in a way it says fuck what you heard like come on fuck what you heard for real though second to none we bombed heaven we're not sorry out to yo this shit is fire i love this piece right here and they do got like this tealish green color but honestly bro i would probably go for the red the ash gray the dirty mustard isn't too bad i don't know how i feel about the purple because normally i wouldn't even wear that shit but it is fire bro this is one of the hoodies that i'm most definitely gonna try and buy as a priority like this and the eight ball hoodie are two that i actually need for this season obviously aside of the box logo but this shit was fire like that stop crying hoodie is definitely one of my favorites i knew it from before and i didn't even know it had anything on the back i just thought it was a small box on the front keeping it simple but that shit is hard i'm not even gonna deny it we do got a couple more hoodies that are fire like this most wanted hoodie Ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. what i didn't like though is the fact that the other hoodies don't have the multicolored font on it they just have the one color but for this gray one i feel like resale has to be four to five hundred dollars hands down bro i'm putting my foot down it has to be that expensive it literally says who is fucking us over the most inside the letters this shit is special bro this is a special hoodie right here i'm gonna leave that shit right there i feel like the s logos for this season are gonna have some bright ass s's on it not bad you feel me this cop car hoodie i'm actually liking this design honestly it's a little nypd car on fire then it says supreme under it i would get that lime green color that shit is banging there's a couple more hoodies that are probably worth talking about but i'm gonna try and get up out of here so i can cover some of the accessories because i'm not trying to be here all day you feel me we got one more hoodie that i'm gonna talk about then we straight up out the building and it is this thermal zip up normally i don't talk about thermals or zip ups because they barely do zip up hoodies but this one right here is actually pretty clean specifically in this camo colorway because it is just camo all over then you got that supreme branding right here around the abdomen kind of it's not bad i would honestly only go for that camo or like a black because i do want a black zip up hoodie i don't have any zip ups honestly i got straight pullovers in the building but let's go ahead and talk about these pants real quick we do got these gore-tex pants kind of dookie the leather pants dookie as fuck we got those painter pants which is the jacket that i talked about before and i said it would be fire on some pants here we got the pants i feel like the pants are actually way better than the actual jacket i would get the pants probably in the gray or the red i don't know how i feel about that teal color but we do got these cargo pants that got this all over camo design not too bad i just feel like their pants are baggy as fuck but that's beside the point we got these shorts right here they could take a seat these t-shirts is honestly what i'm trying to talk about these shits are hard bro this mary j blige t <laughs> that shit is a banger bro this is definitely a must this is probably going to be one of my first carts this t right here i might go ahead and single cart this t i don't know what color but i know that i need that shit just like this banner t right here this is the r.i.p lafayette store t this shit is fire bro i do like the fact that it does have the little supreme box logo on it that's probably gonna drive the hype a little bit up if people know that this is for the lafayette store they probably will drive the hype a little bit up as well we got this save the planet t which is another banger in my opinion i do like the fact that it does say save the planet kill yourself then it does say 1994 the church of supreme i love this piece right here not gonna lie to y'all they kept it simple but it's for the people you feel me save the fucking planet stop destroying this shit it's facts we do got this new shit t which honestly i may have shat on when i first saw the leak but this is fire it does have their stores on the back it does have the little new shit from supreme on the front that's a vibe this one right here the queen t i kind of like it but i don't know if i would really wear this too much if i'm being completely crystal clear with y'all it's not too bad though we got this heaven and earth t which is another fire piece it's just one of the simple ones 
This super cream tea could hold a bit. Literally though, I'm good on this one. I might buy this to raffle it off, but beside that, that shit could take a seat. This levitation tea is not too bad. Once again, I don't know what they're trying to imply with this, but it's not that bad, honestly. One of my favorites is still the smoke tea. I like the way that the actual design is on it. It's nothing too much. It's nothing too little. It has the supreme on it, but it's not like just blasted on there. You feel me? I do like the fact that it's subtle. This faces tea is creeping me the fuck out. So I'm about to go ahead and get up out of here. They be doing these creepy teas from time to time. I don't, I don't be digging that shit. I feel like the hats could honestly hold a tip. I'm not really trying to even talk about them shits. It's just a dub, bro. If y'all want to see the hats, I'm going to link everything down below, but it's just pointless. Honestly, this book bag is not too bad. I like the fact that you could take the front off of it. I don't know if that's like a lunchbox or something, but it's okay. My favorite colors would definitely have to be the woodland camo, the black, and the teal is pretty clean too, but I feel like I would go for the woodland camo or the black one. Honestly, this duffel right here looks like it's on the smaller side, but it doesn't look too bad. It kind of reminds me of the fall winter 15 bags, which were honestly the same like camo boxy type feel. This waist bag, once again, isn't bad. I do like it. I would honestly go for the black or the camo. And this shoulder bag right here, yo, it's not bad. I'm not gonna say it's bad, but it's small as hell. Like it looks small as shit. I need to see this in person. I'm obviously still gonna cop it because I buy the shoulder bags every season, but it's just like, yo, this shit looks puny. Like I don't even know if I could fit money in there to be honest but i would honestly go for the camel one the black one the teal one isn't bad and honestly if you're a girl you could freak with the pink one hey if you're not a girl you could freak with the pink one too but for me it's definitely that woodland camel the one that's sticking out now let's go ahead and hop into the accessories real quick yo they did a honda crf 250r dirt bike like who the f they're probably gonna make a car at this point i definitely do believe that supreme is gonna make a car because they do the most bro they did a pinball machine they did the coleman bike but that doesn't even compare to this this is actually a dirt bike like you can actually probably legally ride this shit Hell no. on the highway like this shit is so fire bro i love it but i do feel like retail is gonna be over 10k so big pocket big money get that shit ready because this is actually fire in my opinion we do got this chair which can hold the tip we do got the trap phone, which is crazy that they even did this shit, bruh. Bruh, you cannot go wrong with it. Like, how can you say that this is a problem? You got the smooth flip phone trap phone on deck. I love this shit, bro. I like the fact that it has the big branding on the back. You got the Supreme Box logo as the background of the actual thing. Come on, bro. Come on. Next, we do got a pair of Dom Perignon champagne glasses. This is fire. I honestly would try and go ahead and get these simply because when you do have a crib and you're trying to pop some champagne, champagne and style you could pull up with the supreme champagne glasses come on bro for any hype beast that is overage and can drink you can go ahead and cop this and get litty titty like come on you can get lit or you can get fit either way supreme got you bro you got the five pound dumbbells what the fuck like yo where are they gonna go next like i feel like they gotta run out of options at some point bro they're gonna make a mini fridge or something at some point because dumbbells like who would have thought they was coming out with some dumbbells this is pretty clean though. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get the farm. I'm gonna go ahead and try and get the five pound joint. And we about to get fit. They got a voodoo doll. I'm not even trying to talk about this shit. But what? Like literally, this is what I'm trying to say. Like, where are they going next? Like, who the f bro? What? I yo, who <laughs> what the fuck? Who brought this to Supreme and said, yo, let's make a voodoo doll? Let's just leave that to the left and go to the right where this Timex watch is at. This is fire, bro. Not even gonna lie. I used to love wearing these type of watches when I was in high school and all that. Lately, I've been wearing straight Apple Watch every day but this is actually pretty clean if you ask me i like the fact that the background is the supreme box logo they kept it real simple with this if I were to cop one, it would definitely be that silver because normally I don't even wear that much gold. I do feel like this is a banger piece though. If I'm being honest, I feel like this is worth it if it's anywhere $50 or below because the original watch of this shit is like $29 at most. So $60 is the most I would pay for this shit if I'm being honest. But next up, we do got this ping pong paddle or racket, whatever you want to say. The one thing that I do got to say about this is that is that I do wish that it brought two paddles because what are you going to do with one paddle? Like, come on, one person's a hype beast other person isn't where would you even go ahead and buy a regular paddle like let me just get this set and say fuck it like we good but we do got the three balls that come in it but just no two paddles it's all right it's gonna be all right you feel me next up we do got this hanging lantern which is another piece that i'm actually a fan of i would put this somewhere in my room 
somewhere. It's gonna go somewhere in here. It looks clean. It just like feng shui type situation. I do appreciate it though. We got the fucking beaker, bro. They came out with a beaker. At the end of the day, you can make anything you need. Like when, when it comes to food, when it comes to being fit, if you need transportation, they got you. You got everything you need. Right here, you got the Pyrex beaker on deck. I'm gonna leave that right there for y'all. They got a brush. All right, so they coming out with a brush that I actually do appreciate. Low key, it makes me want to get a haircut just to use the brush. I might just brush my beard with this shit or the side of my hair. This is actually pretty clean though, if I'm being honest. Supreme be having you buy the most, bro. They're coming out with a screwdriver. This is one of the pieces that I feel like is definitely gonna have to come with me because I do like the fact that this is something I would actually use. It's not a piece that I'm gonna just have getting dusty somewhere around the studio. This is something that I would probably use on a day-to-day -day or like on a weekly basis whenever you you need a screwdriver i do like the fact that it's not just like a simple flat head or the other shit like the detonillador de tria if you know what that is i'm sorry i don't know how to say it in english but this is actually fire i do like the fact that it is multi-use right here we do have these lighters i did kind of find it weird that they're not collaborating with zippo this year that shit was kind of off to me but i do like these right here i would honestly just go for the clear one and call it a day we do got this thermos, which isn't bad. It's cool, you feel me? It's whatever. We got this Pelican case, which is for if you want to keep your shit dry and you're going in the beach or some shit and you don't want your shit to get messed up. This is what you need right here. We got these post-it flags, which is basically the shit that you use to label certain things on a piece of paper. I guess it's cool. This is just following that Band-Aid side of things. We got this keychain light. I'm going to probably end up paying $40 for We already know it. This keychain is dookie. This pin is dookie. This scarf is dookie. Another dookie. We got the thermal crew neck well crew the crew long sleeve and we got the thermal pants i'm definitely gonna be trying to scoop these shits that's just mandatory i don't have no underwear from supreme or socks that's a problem we got these red socks right here which are a vibe if you ask me i do appreciate them and i'm definitely gonna be trying to rack up on those but now we're getting into the skate decks. Then we straight up out the building. So let's go ahead and see what they got right here. We got the Delta logo, which is ass to me. We got the Supremus Love. That shit could take a seat. The banner one is probably the one that's actually going to resell simply because of that box logo that's on there. I appreciate it. I like it a lot. But this is the one that I don't even like. This is the one that I don't even like. This is the one that I like. This smoke one right here, I feel like I could put somewhere in here and it would just look fire, bro. I like the way that this design came out. You can see the letters, but it's kind of like misty. I do like it. And if I'm being honest, that's probably the one that I'm gonna go for. I am gonna try for the banner one, but I know how hype beasts are. They're just gonna buy that shit for resale and it's gonna be fucked. Like I would actually wanna display it. I know you're supposed to skate them. I would honestly display it if I'm being honest. That pretty much does it for this video, bro. If y'all did enjoy this one, leave a like. This shit is gonna take hours on hours to edit. So I would definitely appreciate if y'all left a like on this video. Go ahead and subscribe down below because I am gonna be covering every and anything that has to do with Supreme for this season. Go ahead and click the post notification bell so you're notified each and every time I post a new video and you might be shouted out in the next one, but I'm gonna catch y'all on the next one. Peace, stay up, and I'm out. They say they want a real one, they say they want a real one to make them feel young.